The Everlasting Covenant by Elliot J. Wagner, narrated by Raymond Joseph. A series of 47 articles published in the Present Truth magazine from May 1896 through May 1897, which preceded the publication of Wagner's book, The Everlasting Covenant. Forward. At 27 years of age, the young physician, E.J. Wagner, had an experience that he would later describe as the turning point of his life. As he sat under a camp meeting tent, listening to the gospel presented, suddenly a light shone about him, and the tent seemed illumined as though the sun were shining. He describes the incident thus. I saw Christ crucified for me, and to me was revealed for the first time in my life the fact that God loved me, and that Christ gave himself for me personally. It was all for me. Close quote. The light that shone upon him that day from the cross of Christ became the guide in all his Bible study. He resolved that the rest of his life would be devoted to discovering the message of God's love for individual sinners found in the pages of Scripture and making that message plain to others. After nearly 20 years of study, Wagner could write, quote, I have found Christ set forth as the power of God to the salvation of individuals, and I have never found anything else. The Bible was written for no other purpose than to show the way of life. It contains history and biography, but these are parts of the gospel message. Not one line is written except to reveal Christ. Whoever reads it for any other purpose than to find in it the way of salvation from sin reads it in vain. Studied in the light of Calvary, it is a delight and things that would otherwise be obscure are made clear as the noonday. One line runs through the entire Bible, God's everlasting covenant. Standing at the cross, one can see the working of God's eternal purpose, which he purposed in Christ before the world began. The history from paradise lost to paradise restored, is set forth as in a panorama. Close quote. The book you hold in your hands is the culmination of Wagner's years of study on the Everlasting Covenant. First mentioned in embroy form in articles written for a church paper, the concepts were then presented in a more developed form as part of his lectures at a minister's conference in the fall of 1888. A series of minister's meetings dealing specifically with the two covenants was held in early spring of 1890, which led Wagner to work on the preliminary manuscript that makes up this book. Soon after arriving in England in the spring of 1892, and amidst all his new duties as evangelist, pastor, editor, and publisher, Wagner began more serious study and work on the Everlasting Covenant. By May of 1896, the task was completed, but because of the lack of funds and ability to print such a large manuscript, Wagner ran the manuscript as weekly articles through the pages of the present truth. Now, for the first time, in over a century, readers once again have the privilege of holding in their hands all these articles, but now in book form. If Wagner were alive today, he would rejoice at a dream come true and would no doubt once again pen these words, quote, the pages that follow are designed as an aid to all who would look at the precepts 
and promises of the Bible in their true setting. The author would be the last one to claim that in his book, the last word has been said upon the theme of which it treats, or upon any part of it. That can never be done in this world. The story of God's love can never be exhausted. It is as infinite as God Himself. These pages are designed to be suggestive, aids to further study. But this does not mean that there is any doubt as to the truthfulness of what is here presented. Far from it. Further study of this subject will not overturn anything here set forth, but will reveal much more in the same line. This is not said with any spirit of boastfulness, but because I know whom I believed and have confidence in my teacher. There is nothing original and no attempt at originality only the transcribing of a few of the riches of Christ. If any reader derives half of the profit from these pages that the author has in the writing of them, the reward will be ample. Close quote. Ron Duffield, librarian, Weimar College.